ngayon, grade 8 tayo. Kaya meron tayong congruent triangles dito. Figure ng dalawang triangle. Ito ay congruent. So, ibig sabihin, parehas yung measurement nito. Hanapin natin dito yung mga congruent parts, corresponding parts. So, sa congruent triangles, ang corresponding parts niya ay congruent. So, para dali mahanap yung corresponding parts dito, yung itong na triangle, i-rotate natin ito para madali mahanap yung corresponding parts. Okay, so ito na yung triangle natin. Ito, A, C, B, at saka L, N, M. So dito, yung triangle A, C, B is congruent to triangle L, M, L, N, M. Okay, so ito na. Okay, ito yung triangle A, C, B is congruent to triangle L, N, M. So, A, triangle A, C, B is congruent to triangle L, N, M. So, ito siya. So, dito, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, ang corresponding parts dito, itong angle A at saka angle L sa corresponding angle dito. Okay, so yung corresponding angles natin, sulat natin dito, angle A, and angle L. Tapos itong angle C and angle N. Tapos ito angle B and angle M. So ito yung mga corresponding angles ng congruent triangles. So, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, angle A is congruent to angle L. So, angle C is congruent to angle N. Angle B is congruent to angle M. So, ito siya. Angle A is congruent to angle L. Angle C is congruent to angle N. Angle B is congruent to angle M. So, ito yung corresponding angles. So, congruent yung mga corresponding angles. Next, ang i-pair natin dito ay yung corresponding sides sa so, itong mga sides okay, so meron tayong ito segment AC segment AC and segment LN segment LN ito segment NM ah, okay, segment CB and segment NM. At saka ito, segment BA and segment ML. So ito yung mga corresponding sides, segment AC, and segment LN, segment CB, and segment NM, segment BA, and segment ML.
sa corresponding sides. So, itong mga side ay congruent ito. So, segment AC is congruent to segment LN. Ganun. Segment CB is congruent to segment NM. Itong segment BA is congruent to segment ML. So, corresponding sides are congruent. So, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent.